Well, the natural, natural grass at Florida Field got rave reviews last week. And uh, the Gators look forward to much more continued success on that beautiful natural surface. But now we're underway from Bryant-Denny Stadium. Krzyzewski kicks it deep. Lorenzo Cole from the 11-yard line. Cole across the 20 and is knocked down at the 27-yard line. Now it is third down at 11. Hollingsworth from a shotgun formation. Breaks out of the pocket. There's the football, but Hollingsworth pounces on it at the 20-yard line. Great coverage by the Gators secondary. Hollingsworth had plenty of time. One setback behind Matthews. Dexter McNabb, who gets a pitch, splits a couple of defenders. McNabb on his feet to the 41-yard line of Alabama. Second down. Matthews goes down. It's a loose ball, and Alabama's got it. Steve Webb. Third down and three. Again, Alabama works from a shotgun. Looks like he checked off at the line of scrimmage. Going to run for it himself, and he's in big trouble. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage, let alone the first down marker. This would be a 53-yard field goal if Philip Doyle can knock it through. Almost blocked Doyle, who has uh, tremendous leg strength. Just came up short on that one. Matthews has good protection, throws into a crowd, and it is incomplete. Excellent coverage by John Sullins, a linebacker. Hollingsworth. Fires quickly to his former high school teammate, Craig Sanderson. Almost enough for a first down. The freshman tailback. Anderson runs head long into safety Will White, but gets the first down for Alabama. Hollingsworth with time. Sanderson again with the reception. And he stepped out of bounds at the 41-yard line of the Gators. Anderson and Houston in the backfield for Hollingsworth. The tight end, Lamont Russell. He wrestled down at the 31-yard line. It will be close to another Alabama first down. There you see Fee Bartley blitzing from the outside, but Hollingsworth picks him up. The ball pops into the air, but I think an Alabama player was there to fall on it. He did. Sanderson in motion. Dumps it to Russell. And Russell is near another first down. I think he's got it. Hollingsworth throws it for the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Craig Sanderson. Play action. Kirkpatrick is open. There's a Florida first down. Out across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Matthews dumps it to McNabb. McNabb is near the first down marker at about the 41. This will be close. They really pushed Alabama back consistently uh, since the opening drive. Fullback Dexter McNabb getting some medical attention. Tailback Eric Rett will have another Florida first down to about the 46-yard line of the Crimson Tide. Third and short. Now they're playing straight up. Again, they almost jumped offside. They give it to Rhett. Rhett, I believe he's got the first down. On the draw, McClendon has nowhere to go. He was hit back there in the backfield by Byron Holbrook. This would be a 47-yard effort by Arden Krzyzewski. The kick is no good. It would have been his longest. And the Alabama Crimson Tide take over at their own 31. Fumble. Where's Classic the ball? the ball carrier, and it is loose on the artificial surface. Who's got it? Florida's got it, I think. No official signal yet. The way the celebration's going, I think Florida got it. Yep. Great field position. Great opportunity early in the second period for the Florida Gators. Matthews in big trouble, but McClendon makes the catch at the 21 of Alabama. Trying to come up with the right call on third down and one. 
Matthews tries to quarterback sneak it for the first down. He had a good full yard to go, and I'm not sure if he got it. Lined up in the eye behind quarterback Shane Matthews. They pitch it to McClendon, and McClendon stumbles, but he should have enough for the first down. <laughs> There's a debate. Let's settle it right now. Oh, my goodness, look. Boy, is that close. He did not. That's how close it was. With 11.59 to play in the second period. Setting up a reverse with Sanderson. B. Bartley is there, but Sanderson runs right past it. Odom chased him out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Big third down play for Alabama. The pass is incomplete, I think, at the 45-yard line. I think it one hopped up into the hands of the receiver, Donnie Finkley. Eric Rett. Good yardage on first down. Out to the 18. This time the Gators have the first down as Rhett is out to the 25-yard line. That's a big first down for the Florida Gators. Matthews has Ernie Mills open, and Mills makes the catch for another first down to the 39-yard line. Ephraim Thomas, the All-Southeastern Conference quarterback, made the stop. You're looking at third down and six. The pass is underthrown, intended for Terrence Barber. They need to go to about the 39. Hollingsworth finds Wembley, and they got enough for the first down to the 45-yard line. Oh! Ooh, what, a, <laughs> what a hit there as Hawk and Miles got there very quickly, and then a third Gator uh, just put the final touches on a huge hit. Barber is wide to the right. Sullivan is wide to the left. The tight end, Kirkpatrick, and a slot to the right side. Matthews has four receivers out looking for the football, but he can't find anybody that almost threw it away. Almost threw an interception into the hands of Stacy Harrison, who couldn't hold on to it. To his credit, he's made uh, at least a few things happen for that Alabama offense against a terrific Florida defense. Steps up in the pocket. There's a well-thrown ball to Wembley. And good for an Alabama first down. Wembley's second catch from the Florida 39. Alabama, second down. There's a penalty flag in the backfield. Jones made the catch. Culpepper was being held by the face mask. Now Alabama, which a moment ago looked like they were threatening to get at least three on the board. They're in a third down and very long back in their own territory. Picked off by Will White. White trying to get out of the way of his own man and finally does and is out of bounds at the 37-yard line of Alabama. Terry, uh, rather, Ernie Mills was open. And it's short again. It's going to be a big call, uh, I think, by Coach Spurrier, David. Uh, maybe a foot short. On fourth down and inches. McClendon did not get the first down. Again. Did you see where Auburn uh, last week had to call a kid out of the uh, stands because their tailbacks had been hurt. They had one of their kids uh, watch the game in the first uh, half and then got called to duty, carried the ball seven times in the second half. Be ready, Jim. Somebody might call on you here before the day is over. The end of the first half with Alabama leading the Florida Gators seven to nothing. We'll be back to Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right after this. Trying to sweep to the short side of the field. The ball is fumbled. And I think Alabama's got it. It looked like George Thornton fell on the football at about the 27-yard line. Oh, that's a gigantic break for the Gators. Let's take another look here. As McClendon is the ball carrier. There's Stewart. Now see, the ball is loose. loose. They just never saw that. That's, uh, that's a gift. Jason Haley will punt. 
Jeff Marshall deep to return for Alabama. Gators may have just gotten a big break. End over in and short. Marshall makes the fair catch. Alabama's first offensive try in the third period. The pitch to the freshman tailback. Anderson, he's got great speed, remember. And if he'd gotten past Godfrey Miles, he might have six in the end zone. From the Florida 22-yard line. Robert Jones behind the line of scrimmage and will not get the first down. In fact, he lost a couple of yards. Doyle on the verge of reaching something of a milestone. If he can hammer through this 41-yard kick, he's got plenty of distance, and it is there. And let's see what Steve Spurrier and Shane Matthews and company come with on second down and 10. Pass over the middle. Alonzo Sullivan has a first down into Alabama territory at the 47-yard line of the Crimson Tide. There goes, it is. Goes short again. Everett makes the catch. Oh. Makes a great play to get away from one man and finally is taken out. And a penalty flag went down as well on the tackle by Mark McMillan. And it looks like the penalty is going to go against the Gators. Maybe he's stiff-armed. Willie McClendon going to have to get it on his own. He's got the first down, and McClendon crosses the 30 down to about the 28-yard line of Alabama. Everett, nifty move inside the 10. And second down and goal from the six and a half of Alabama. Matthews fires for the end zone. It's oh. caught. Touchdown, Terrence Barber. That is his first touchdown catch of the year, and did Shane Matthews ever put it where he had to put it? Florida coming with a blitz on first down, and there's a good play for that defensive call as fullback Kevin Turner turns it upfield and has the football down into Florida territory to the 47 or 8-yard line. There are penalty flags everywhere. Nine or ten starters on that offense. Ball is across the 50 at the Florida 48-yard line. Anderson looking for a block on the corner. Jimmy Spencer chases him out of bounds at the 39-yard line. 1987, it was a freshman by the name of Emmett Smith who tore up Alabama in Birmingham. Anderson has the first down, oh. holds on to the football. He runs hard for 175 pounds, doesn't he? Ball is at the 29-yard line of the Gators. A very important third down play for both football teams. Sanderson makes the catch for the first down at the 20-yard line. Third down. Inside the 15. Looking for Russell, the big tight end. Oh. It's intercepted by Will White again. Really nice. Richard Bain inside Will White. Good news is the Gators have the ball. The bad news for Florida, it's at the one-yard line. And Matthews going to throw out of the end zone, going deep for Mills, and it's caught! Ernie Mills! Oh. To the 29-yard line of Alabama. Second down. Here comes a blitz. Matthews unloads quickly. He's got Barber, made a good catch at the 12-yard line of Alabama. It is third down. And off to McClendon. To the six. Backup quarterback Johnny Nichols puts it down. Krzyzewski kicks it through. And the game is tied at 10-10 with 128 left in the third period. Looks like a mix-up. Hollingsworth is down. Michael Brandon was in the backfield along with Mark Murray and Bruce Culpepper. Stan Moss is deep. The game oh. blocked the punt. And it Touchdown. is recovered in the end zone. Touchdown, Woo. Florida. Richard Payne. Hollingsworth, the short drop. And it is apparently a good catch by Craig Sanderson, who's had himself a big afternoon. Alabama desperately needs to convert here. 
look at number two again. Will White, his third interception of the afternoon. He is everywhere today. Offside. They didn't call it. Matthews has all afternoon. Intercepted. John Sullen. Off the deflection. Intended for Terrence Barber, and Sullen's heads up made the interception. But now the Gators lead by a touchdown. Here's the reverse again to Sanderson. Hollingsworth threw a great block for him. Sanderson has the first down and lots more. Monty Grove finally made the tackle at the Florida 44-yard line. Or Matt Hammond, rather, who 25 yards up the field throwing a block. Jones high-stepping his way across the 35 to about the 33-yard line, a gain of about eight. Alabama gets the first down. Robert Jones running behind the left side of that offensive line. Second down and eight, Crimson Tide. They fake the reverse this time, and Robert Jones is tackled behind the line of scrimmage, back to the original line of scrimmage. Doyle going to try a 46-yard field goal. That snap was low, but the kick is good. One of the, if not the greatest victories in Florida football history, a 10-6 Gator victory in 1963. Matthews has Barber wide open. And Barber has a first down. Florida recovered the fumble. I think it's Hisham Ishmael. And Alabama in possession of the football from their own 23. Play action. And there's Sanderson again. To the 49 of Florida. Sanderson shaking up on the play. Sanderson gets a step on Jimmy Spencer. This team is going to know what was in a football game today. Both of these ball clubs will. Big third down play. And they go to their big play man, Lamont Russell, who hauls it in, and Alabama gets the first down. And they won't get any on that play. Keep an eye on the tight end, Russell. Rus rushing the four down lineman. Hollingsworth is throwing for Wembley, and Wembley can't make the catch. Monty Grove, the safety. I think he might have just touched it. The Gators come out throwing. How about that? And Trey Everett has what appears to be a Florida first down. Both teams have had chances. Both teams have made mistakes. Both teams have failed to capitalize from time to time. Both teams have capitalized on several occasions. Eric Rett comes near a Florida first down. And there's Gene Stallings, the man who is going to hear, he's going to hear it from the football wolves all around the state of Alabama this week. You can guarantee that. Fourth down, but the Gators are not even going to have to stamp the football. That's it. He's happy. His return to Tuscaloosa on a winning note. In 64, he came up three points shy as a young sophomore quarterback. But in 1990, it's a different story. And that is the end of the football game as Steve Spurrier wins his first Southeastern Conference game. 17-13, the final score for Bryant-Denny Stadium.